Biden spoke in Michigan today on the need for his infrastructure and social spending plans as negotiations over both bills are underway on Capitol Hill. Yeah, Michelle Cinder talks to two leaders in Michigan about what the state needs and the potential impact of the Biden agenda. Here to talk about the president's pitch, I'm joined by Nick Proctor. He's the mayor of Howell and attended the president's remarks. And Congresswoman Lisa McLean, she represents the northeastern part of the state. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here. Mayor Proctor, I want to start with you. President Biden only got 38% of the vote in the 2020 election, losing badly to former President Trump. A lot of your residents did not support him. You yourself said that you did not vote for President Biden, but you do support his infrastructure plans. Talk to me about how you square, how your residents feel about President Biden with your support for his infrastructure plans. Well, thanks for thanks for having me. Um, it's I, I kind of view this a little differently. It's not who we voted for, or who we didn't vote for. Uh, the city of Howell and the surrounding communities were excited to have uh, a visit by the president. He's a, he's our president. He's all of our president, uh, and we were very happy that he came here to pitch his Build Back Better program. Um, as the president said in his remarks today, uh, it, it, this is not a Partisan issue on infrastructure. I mean, we all use roads. We all turn on the water and and uh, expect our water to be treated. So this is not a Republican, Democrat, or independent issue. This is a this is truly an American issue. So uh, yes, uh, I do support uh, the Build Back Better program. I think most people would. Uh, the key is uh, how how it's going to be paid for, and I think the president was very clear on his plan and how that would be paid for. You know, here in Howell, we have, uh, you know, about $45 million in capital and in infrastructure needs. So, uh, you know, the bill is very large. It's uh, it's big. We don't know um, what would come to the state of Michigan or to Livingston County or, or to Howell. But uh, if it passes, we're hoping to uh, be able to, to apply some of that Build Back Better money to uh, some of our capital needs. Congresswoman, the mayor's talking about infrastructure being bipartisan. You, though, have said that you don't support the president's larger infrastructure plans. The White House says that this plan would help some 2 million children in Michigan and reduce child poverty there by some 44 percent. Polls also show that Americans largely back and support the president's infrastructure plans. Why don't you support th these infrastructure plans? Because when you talk about infrastructure, it needs to be just that which is infrastructure. And when 10% of the bill actually deals with infrastructure, roads, bridge, bridges, waterways, I would support an infrastructure bill that actually dealt with infrastructure. Listen, especially here in Michigan, we are in need of infrastructure. Our roads are crumbling, our bridges are crumbling. We definitely need infrastructure, but we don't need all the other pork that is in this bill. And I give you an example. It's like me saying to my husband, honey, I'm going to go take the car and I'm going to get an oil change. Right? We agree the car needs an oil change, need to continue to maintain the car. Then I come home and I come home with a new Ferrari. That's what this bill is. So let's just deal with infrastructure. And I would be happy to, to support an infrastructure bill, but I'm not happy to support a bill that is going to burden our children and our grandchildren with more debt that we have no idea how to pay for. And Congresswoman, you say that this would burden um, children and it has a lot of pork in it. The White House, though, is, is pointing out that this plan would provide high quality preschool to three-year-olds and four-year-olds in Michigan. They're also saying that it would provide free school meals. What do you say to the average woman in Michigan, the average mother, family in Michigan that's saying we are infrastructure. We want human infrastructure and investment into our families as the White House is, is pitching this. I would say that is not traditional infrastructure. And if you want to talk about those bills in an educational form, I'm happy to do so. But those aren't infrastructure. So I think what the American people need is a little truth and transparency and consistency. So I'm not opposed to talking about those. But let's talk about infrastructure when we're talking about infrastructure. And let's talk about the other things at a later date. Mayor Proctor, what do you make of what the Congresswoman is saying? Well, I, I don't necessarily disagree with her. Um, she has uh, probably read the bill. I, I have not. I, I don't know what's in it and what pork is in it and what, what's not truly infrastructure. The president talked today about two 
separate issues, uh, and that was the physical infrastructure and then the human investment in, in that infrastructure. So uh, I focus on the physical infrastructure. That's what our community needs. And as I said, we, we certainly have uh, over you know, about 45 million in, in capital and infrastructure needs here. So I'm focused on the physical infrastructure. Um, and uh, I'm hoping Congress can move on the physical infrastructure aspect. And Congresswoman, there are folks who would look at the way that you're, you're talking about infrastructure and say, yes, that's one way to look at infrastructure, but the president is expanding it and saying investing in families, investing in health care workers, that should be part of this larger expansion of infrastructure. Why is that wrong, especially when you look at families who are saying, yes, we want to have help, we want to have child poverty reduced in our state and in our city? Listen, I don't want to make people dependent. I want to give people an opportunity to work. I want to give people an opportunity for the American dream. We have 11 million jobs that aren't filled right now. 11 million. We have a labor shortage. Let's get people back to work and back to school and put the power back in the people's hands. Um, Congressman McLean, Mayor Proctor, I appreciate both of you coming on. Thank you Thank for you. having us.